If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? ClickWood here back again with another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video. And today, guys, we're going to be playing some head-to-head -head seasons here on the game. Uh, now, normally, recently anyway, I've just been basically uh, uploading gameplay along with some sort of commentary that doesn't really have anything to do with the gameplay. But today, I actually wanted to do some commentary over the gameplay, so that's what we're going to be doing. And we're going to get started very quickly here. My opponent did not think that I would chuck it deep to my running back, but I've got Reggie Bush, man. I've got the Campus Edition Reggie Bush, 99 overall, ridiculously fast, ridiculously good receiver, and even Anthony Barr is not going to keep up with Reggie Bush. So we get the first drive touchdown. Now my opponent's got the ball here, and he is going to try and take off with Marcus Mariota. That's going to be a recurring theme in this game. A lot of quarterback runs by my opponent in this one, and he's going to go for it here on fourth and six. Important stop here if we can make it, but it's going to be a tough one. We're going to send some heat at him here off the edge and uh, try and get some pressure on him and see if we can make the stop here. So fourth and six, and he is going to get hit there. I believe that was Ronald Darby coming off the edge. So we do get the ball again here, and immediately we get A-gapped by my opponent, just immediately. So he's not messing around. Makes a stop there on Reggie Bush, and now it's third and 18. So basically, I'm just going to try and chuck it deep here, see what we can do. And Aaron Rodgers with just a horrible throw on the run there. Probably could have been caught there, honestly, if he would have thrown it decently to Vincent Jackson. But we'll take our field goal. Now, guys, uh, in this game, this is a very, very entertaining close game. It's going to come right down to the wire. So make sure that you stick around to the end. I'm telling you, this is probably the most entertaining game that I have played all season. And the way that it ends is absolutely insane. So you guys are going to enjoy it. Second and 10 here. My opponent does try and take off again with Mariota on the read option. And I'm starting to kind of pay attention to it and commit to the quarterback before the plays start. But he's going to come up here now with another fourth and two. Remember, we made a nice stop last time. This time, he does actually make a great throw there. I thought for sure he would try and throw short. So I sent a cover two at him. Didn't quite work out. He made a nice catch. And uh, now he's in the red zone. He is going to make a nice grab here and uh, break a tackle. Get out of bounds there. 319 left here in the first half. So I'm hoping I'll be able to get the ball and uh, get maybe one or potentially even two drives in if I can score quickly and stop him. So uh, trying to get and keep the score a little bit in my favor here before the end of the first half. My opponent does take a false start, or I guess he didn't, a delay of game, excuse me. But right here, we should have had a pick there, man. Give me a break. That was not, that could not have been read any better by me. Third and nine now after that missed pick. And of course, he's going to break a tackle on the screen and get into the end zone because that's just how Madden works. But look at this karma. We do get him to miss an extra point somehow. I don't even know how that happened. I haven't seen very many people miss extra points in this game. So that was a huge thing that went in our favor. 6-10 to 10 now. And guys, again, remember, we put Reggie Bush out deep earlier and scared him. And right there, you see that he ended up putting two guys on Bush there. Kind of one at the line and then one deep to try and cover him. Left open a little bit of a short path underneath. And we're going to try and take advantage of that a little bit throughout the game here. Uh, scaring him by moving our guys into in different routes and things like that which we did on this try or on this play but unfortunately he gets another just kind of an instant sack there with Von Miller it's kind of something that happens from time to time Jared Cook nearly makes an amazing grab there in the end zone or maybe that was Vernon Davis but nearly making an amazing catch there in the end zone third and 18 though throw it up for Des Bryant he's not able to come down with it so for the second straight drive we have to settle for three so that makes it though a 13 to six game, still a full touchdown ahead, thankfully because of that missed extra point. Now my opponent is going to take a sack here or he should have anyway, but unfortunately he does break the tackle. Thankfully our QB spy is there to make the play. Seven seconds remaining here in the first half and he's just basically gonna chuck it deep. We've got a user going absolutely as deep as we can to try and stop this. We set our man perfectly and of course he still comes up with it, thankfully. That was the end of the first half. He wasn't able to get a timeout off, but holy crap, man. That was a little bit frustrating. I can't even lie to you. Starting off the second half now, my opponent does have the ball, so he has the opportunity to tie this football game early in the second half after kind of a dreadful first half by his team, to be completely honest. And he's going off the edge here. We're not getting the animations to tackle him in the backfield for some reason, despite the fact that we were right there a couple of different times. Third and two, we do make the stop, but unfortunately, it is a little bit after the first down, so he does pick that one up. Another run up the middle here. He's definitely going more run heavy here in the second half, 
and not read option heavy. So I brought up my defense and that was a terrible decision because he is going to find his man wide open there over the middle. This time he is going to make the extra point to tie this football game up at 13. So now I've struggled a little bit on offense since my first one or two drives here. But right here, we're going to connect with Jared Cook. And look at him breaking three, four tackles before he's finally taken down at midfield. And again, we're going to take Reggie Bush here, set him out. Or excuse me, this time, Chris Ivory set him out to the side. And again, I'm willing to throw it deep to these guys if they're uncovered. But... What we did there was make him a little bit confused and cause him to not pull his user in the right position. We find Jared Cook on another nice route there over the middle. Big completion. And here again, we're going to be looking down the field. We've got a man. It is Vincent Jackson opening the end zone for the touchdown. A huge score there to bring us back in with a seven-point lead. Now... My opponent, again, running a read option there. Nice little handoff to Portis. He's got an effective running game working for him here going up the middle. And I know that's pretty much the only way that he's been able to pick up good yardage. Yes, he's had a couple of runs off the edge where he's made decent plays. And right there, Mariota just breaking tackles. What are you going to do? You know, there's really not much you can do. But I know, again, that his main runs are going to come by going up the middle. So I'm trying to clog up the middle. Right here now, we're going to start to commit a little bit more on Mariota so that he can't take off and run with him down the field on those read options. Again, just continuing to run the read option up the middle. I know that I really should change out of this dime defense, but I want to make sure that if he is going to pass the ball, that we've got enough guys out there because the last time that I put a, a 4-6 defense out there to try and stop the run, he instantly threw it and our guys just were not in position to make the play. So he's driving down the field here again, guys. Third and four, continuing to run the football very, very effectively. But right here, we make the big play in the backfield. But are you kidding me? He forced a fumble and recover he recovered it. Oh my gosh, again, the next play after the fumble recovery, he is going to score a touchdown on another screen play. Two times now, we should have forced a turnover in the red zone and we don't get it. And then he scores a touchdown on the very next play. So we've got a minute 48 left here, throwing it down the field, nearly getting picked off there. That would have been disastrous, but we still have an opportunity to take the lead here in this game. We've just got to put up a field goal here by the end of the time running out. And we're going to find again here, Jared Cook, our main main receiver in this game so far making a nice snag there over the middle against a cornerback but unfortunately we do not pick up the block there and we get sacked on the next play second and 19 here looking for a man down the field and we're gonna make make a nice catch there by Jerry Rice he's gonna get down to set up a third and five here and again We've got guys going deep. We've got all kinds of different routes all over the field. Looking down the field, single coverage here. Vincent Jackson, unfortunately, does not get the aggressive catch, man. I've been trying to just throw it up. When I see single coverage lately, I've just been willing to throw that thing up. But it's fourth down now. And now I have to decide if I'm going to punt. I do decide to punt with 46 seconds left. That's going to give him enough time to score. Should have been an amazing punt here and gone out of bounds, but unfortunately it did go into the end zone. So my opponent's now got the ball. Now, I'm not quite as worried about the read option right now because he's only getting about six yards per carry on the read option. So I'm not overly concerned about it. I'm willing to allow it if that's what he wants to do and run out the clock here so that we can go to overtime. I just don't want to let him score. So third and one, we make a huge sack there, bringing heat off off the edge again and he decides to punt as well 23 seconds left here when Reggie Bush or excuse me Dre Archer grabs the ball now we've got just a few plays left here to try and get down the field nice little snag there by Reggie Bush and we're setting ourselves up here a little bit closer at the 49 yard line we're gonna throw it deep here but Vincent Jackson drops it are you kidding me one more opportunity here to try and set ourselves up in better field position before fourth down. And we're going to throw it deep here into coverage, out of bounds, no completion, setting up now a fourth down. But I, can, can the receivers get far enough down the field? It's going to get there. He turned 32 yesterday. Does he have a vintage moment in it? In the end zone, it is caught! Oh my gosh, Reggie Bush, dear God, look at him beating Rod Woodson deep here. That is the ultimate legend, Rod Woodson. Huge snag there by Reggie Bush, and we are going to walk away with the victory in regulation. The most improbable 
aggressive catch Odell Beckham Jr. snag of all time. The running back Reggie Bush, man. If you haven't tried out that card, I'm telling you, this is my favorite card to use in the game now. I absolutely love this Reggie Bush. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.